Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. I'm going to teach you how to play a game called Gridlock. Gridlock is a game adapted by Ben Orlin that is based on a task from the Stanford Education Center, U-Cubed. Mark off a 10 by 10 grid on two pieces of graph paper, one grid per player. The winner of the game is the player that has more filled in squares on your board at the end of the game. Players alternate turns rolling two dice. The rolling player then uses the two numbers sh to shade a rectangle anywhere on either game board with those dimensions. Since the winner is the player with the most shaded squares by the end of the game, why would they ever want to shade a rectangle on their opponent's board? You'll find out soon. Let's watch a sample game for a little while. Player one rolls two and four and shades this rectangle. Player two rolls and shades this rectangle. Here's the result of more rolls. Player one rolls a two and a two and shades that four square square. And player two's two rolls a one and a four, shading that one by four rectangle. Player one rolls a six by six and shades. Player two rolls a four and four and shades. On the next roll, player one rolls one and two. He chooses to put this on the opponent's game board. He does this in an attempt to make it harder for his opponent to be able to place rectangles on their own game board. If a rectangle will not fit on either game board, then you lose your turn. When both players lose their turn back to back, then the game is over. It's possible to lose one turn, but then be able to play on the next turn. So keep playing until both players lose their turn in a row. The winner is the player with the greatest shaded area on their own game board. Remember, area is measured in squares, so count the number of squares that were covered on your game board to determine the winner. I hope you enjoy the game.